Hi, Harry. This is for task four. <clears throat> this is a quite a nice little question. We might have done this. I don't remember when you um, <clears throat> when we didn't see you again. Um, but this question is really, re if you pause, read the question and just be comfortable with what's going on. So you have a situation here where you've got this deal to deliver goods. It's a short term um, request. It's a trial special order to deliver goods to a a customer in China, and um, they want you. They want to offer you ten pound a doll. Now you're currently selling this doll for fifteen pounds in England, and and to your other customers, the doll costs you nine pound to make. So you're making, if you like, a contribution of six. Remember that we're not looking at fixed costs. So the key point here is this: this topic really, this area covers what we refer to as marginal costing. So. Um, the argument really is that <clears throat> that when we're making short-term decisions, because by now we've probably we've broken even, we've covered our fixed costs, we've, if you like, so we can start to play with the selling price. We've discussed this several times. The question is, how low can we go? So if our variable costs are currently nine, if I'm being offered ten pounds, I'm still making a contribution of one. So that's fine. That's good. That's okay. I can accept it based on that. And so, really, that's what this is fundamentally asking. Should you accept the contract? Now, of course, there are consequences to this, of course, that if you accept the contract, um, will you be able to? Because remember that this can't carry on forever. You're paying, you're, you're charging your clients normally 15 because you want to be able to cover your fixed costs. And when that cycle comes around again, um, you have to think about, are you going to charge them 15? Or, you know, what, what exactly is going to happen? Do you have the capacity to even do this job? Remember, this, this contract currently covers your fixed costs. Are you going to stop doing this one to do this other special contract? Is there an opportunity to really grow in China? Will your other customers hear about this? What's the situation? Um, and how will they feel? So that's what you're really exploring with this, with this question ultimately. So it's again, you, the, the, the numbers say yes, but again, you have to then come up with ideas as to why this might be a good or not a good um, contract to do. And that's really it with task four, nothing major. So bang in a few numbers together and come up with a few ideas and we can discuss this again tomorrow in class. Yes, I hope that's helped. Cheers. Oh, yeah.